Keeping kids out of the classroom as the pandemic drags on. Austin ISD announced it's keeping a virtual learning option for some students. Teachers won't have to teach both virtual and in-person classes this fall, but this all got announced today when we're about three weeks away from the first day of school. KVU's Derenisha Heron is live at AISD headquarters in South Austin. And Derenisha, the district is still working out the details on all of this. They are, Quita. AISD is still trying to decide who will qualify for virtual learning. What they did do is lay out a timeline. And in that timeline, you will see that as of now, parents will not know if their students are approved for virtual learning until the week before school starts. It's a message some parents feared wouldn't come. Austin ISD will let some K through six students learn virtually this fall. I mean, I'll be honest, I, I started crying. I was I was so happy. Heather Rell has a fourth and sixth grader in the district. Her fourth grader has a heart defect, making him high risk. Before today's announcement, Rell planned to pull her son out of the district. That really sent me scrambling, um, especially with the no mask mandate that was sent, signed by the governor. Um, so yeah, we've been applying. We applied for two public online schools. For the most part, Texas will not provide funding for students in 100% virtual learning. AISD said their budget is already tight and it'll cost the district $9,000 per student per year. So the number of kids who get this option will be limited. The head of Austin's teachers union says state rules are making things difficult. What we're really concerned with is a governor that simply is not allowing uh, enough virtual instruction uh, to be funded. Uh, we need more funding. AISD board members laid out options. One is to use the federal ESSER fund, but that would take away money from other programs. And second, using the homebound instructional program for students with underlying health issues that qualify. I'm so grateful for AISD for, you know, really pushing the envelope and trying to find options for parents. The district plans to send a survey tomorrow to parents to gauge just how many people need virtual learning. So parents, be on the lookout for that. Back to you guys in the studio. All right, KVU's Darren Heron live in South Austin tonight. Darren thank you.